All right, so let's um, simplify a few ratios that contain measurements, the ratios of measurements. And these measurements will be in different units. So um, let's practice. So we've got this ratio of 12 feet to 3 miles. And that's not saying that 12 feet is equivalent to 3 miles, of course, and 3 miles is a bunch of feet. Uh, th but a ratio is just a comparison. We're, you know, we're measuring something that happened to be 12 feet. We measured something else that happened to be three miles, and, and this ratio is just comparing the two. Um, so here's our ratio. Um, I'm going to rewrite it as a uh, as a fraction. It makes it easier to deal with. Um, three feet, or uh, twelve feet to three miles. Okay. Now we want to simplify that, and there's a couple things that have to happen. The number part of it needs to be as simple as possible. So um, canceling out shared factors, which I'll, I'll show you in a sec. And then the units need to be the same so that they cancel out. So feet and miles are not, not the same thing. So we need to get the units to be the same. What I would do is deal with the numbers first to get that as simple as possible. So we could rewrite this as, um, so look, what are the factors of 12? We could write that as 3 times 4. 3 times 4 feet. 12 is the same thing as 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 feet over 3 miles. Um, or we could call that 3 times 1, actually. 3's cancel out. That's a factor that these two numbers have in common. Um, so 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times whatever is left is just whatever is left. Um, so we could rewrite this as a, a ratio of, of um, four feet, four feet to one mile. Okay. So the number part of it we got as simple as possible. Now let's deal with the fact that these these units are different. Um, what you need to do is um, get a conversion factor, and you can look you can look that up. Um, if you don't have these memorized, just look it up. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, so one mile. So um, we're, we've got miles and feet. So we need the convert conversion factor between miles and feet. And here it is. One mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet. So we can write that at conversion factor as just a ratio. It's a comparison of two numbers. We're comparing how many miles, how many feet. Um, are equivalent to each other. So uh, what we could do is we could say one mile. This conversion factor we could write as a ratio. One mile is equivalent to um, 5,280 feet. Sorry, it's kind of sloppy. Now, uh, here's the, the ratio we're dealing with, and we're, we're going to multiply that by the conversion factor expressed as a ratio. And what we want to do is we want to set it up so that um, the the units will cancel out, and I'll just I'll just do this one to show you. So y this unit, this conversion factor, we could write as one mile to five thousand two hundred eighty feet, and it's just as correct to say five thousand two hundred eighty feet to one mile. It does not matter what order we do that ratio in. These things mean the same thing. It means for every mile, we've got f um, 5,280 feet. For every 5,280 feet, we've got one mile. Same thing, right? So you'll have to decide how do you want to deal with um, this conversion factor? What order do you want it to go in? So in this example, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this order, one mile on top. 5,280 feet on bottom. Here's why. Um, the the miles cancel out. You can think of this as mile divided by mile. We've got mile on top, mile on bottom. Anything divided by itself is one cancels out. Just like this three and three, three on top, three on bottom, gone. If I've got a mile on top and a mile on bottom, gone. So I want to set it up so that my units that are the same are kind of um, catty corner to each other, or diagonal from each other, so that one's on top, one's on bottom, so they cancel out. Here, here again, we have feet cancel out with feet. 
So now we just multiply across. Um, 4 times 1 is 4. Uh, 1 times 5,280 is 5,280. Now, let's look and see. Can this be reduced further? Um, is 4 a factor of uh, 4,280. Two definitely is. Um, what we could do is just we could just simply divide four by five two eighty. That's what the fraction means. Um, no, I guess that doesn't line up. Um, so we could divide both by two. Five two eighty. Divide by two. Two six. Two thousand six hundred forty. Uh, wait, I must have done that wrong, because that's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I did the f the top number. Yeah, four four is a factor of um, five thousand two hundred eighty. Yeah, I just did the division backwards. Sorry about that. So um, so this is the same. So we could rewrite this four times one over four times whatever that was thirteen hundred twenty. So this factor of 4 cancels out. So si the simplest form of this ratio is 1 over uh, 1,320. All right, so the ratio of 12 feet to 3 miles is uh, really 1 to um, 1,320. Or in other words, this length here, 12 feet, is 1 uh, 1,320th of, of this length here is what that means. All right, so that's, that's a process. So let's practice a couple more here. Um, so we've got a ratio of 10 meters to 60,000 centimeters for whatever reason. Um, let's, re let's write that as a fraction. Um, now, before we go further, let's, let's deal with the numbers part to get it a little bit simpler, just to make things a little bit easier to deal with. Um, we could pull a 10 out of both these, you know, you got zeros on top of zeros, so just basically eliminate a zero off the end of both these guys. So this is equivalent to uh, one meter over six thousand centimeters, same ratio or an equivalent ratio. Now I've got a conversion factor. One meter is equal to hundred centimeters. One meter to a hundred centimeters. Now I have to think about. I'm going to multiply this ratio that I'm dealing with by the conversion factor. The question is, how do I want to express this? Do I want meters on top and centimeters on bottom, or do I want centimeters on top and meters on bottom? Well, I would like, um, since I've got centimeters on the bottom here, I would like centimeters to be on the top here. Um, so if, so if I have something on the top and the bottom, it cancels out. So I'm going to rewrite this conversion factor actually as 100 centimeters over 1 meter. Um, like that, so then the units will will count, cancel out. So meters cancel out meters, centimeters cancel out centimeters. So one times 100 across the top is just 100. 6,000 times one, 6,000. Um, now let's reduce this. Uh, we could take a zero off the end, zero off the end. So really, this ratio is one to 60. Yeah, so that's, it's a lot simpler, right? 10 meters to 60,000 centimeters, really a ratio of 1 to 60. Or, in other words, uh, 10 meters is 1 60th of 60,000 centimeters. All right, last one. Um, 45 minutes to 1 hour. So let's write that as a... Um, fraction... Okay, so these numbers as they are so far, we can't reduce any further, so let's just proceed. We've got a conversion factor, 60 minutes to one hour. Um, now, we, we want to express this so that the units are kind of diagonal from each other, so actually I'm going to put one hour on the top. Um, oops. I'm just going to multiply this. Multiply this by the conversion factor. All right. Now, all right. Let's, let's rewrite this. 45 minutes. 
per one hour. It's the ratio we're trying to simplify. We're going to multiply that by the conversion factor. We're going to put hours on top so the hours cancel out. Uh, minutes on bottom. Uh, minutes cancel out minutes. Hours cancel out hours. So we've got 45 times 1 across the top. 45. Um, 1 times 60. 60. That's nice. Uh, we could pull. Um, see, 15 is a factor of both of these. So um, 45 is 3 times 15. 60 is 4 times 15. Right? So 15s cancel out. So the ratio of 45 minutes to 1 hour is the ratio of of three to four. So 45 minutes is three-fourths of one hour. There you go.